back then um we would play a, a game up in the uh, 49 radar ready room it was a computer game but you had to mail your moves <laughs> out <laughs> really? and then wait wait for their replies back what you was that game it? sorry a naval strategy game where you had to plot 21 moves on a map and then mail those moves off and then they would enter those moves into a computer and mail the results back <laughs> and then you would you would do 21 more moves and mail that off and i think I don't think I ever completed that game in the three years I was on that ship. Who were you even playing against? Um, we never did know. <laughs> I mean, there, there were five of us up in up in that room on this table that was uh, eight foot long by six foot wide that had the world map on it. And we were putting our planes and our ships and submarines here and there. And we would plot it and send it off. And I don't think I ever completed that game. Okay, I'm actually curious. So was this a thing just for you guys or this was an actual like... No, it was an actual game. Yeah, it was an actual game. It was a computer game, you said? Yeah, it was a computer game. I, okay, I, I'm really curious. How would I... What would I type to search this Navy... Navy strategy game. <clears throat> yeah, 1970. 1970s. It's 1973. Yeah. You might want to do a search, uh, Naval strategy, uh, mail your move game or something like that. Oh, in the, in the late nine, in the late 1970s, the Navy developed C control tactical analysis game. So C tag. That's it. C tag. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> a manual pen and paper war game available in classified and unclassified versions. This led to NavTag, a computer version that could be taken to sea. The system used three networked computers, one each for red, blue, and game control. Under NavTag, up to 300 surface ships, submarines, and aircraft could be controlled by players in a ver variety of scenarios. <laughs> C tag. Yeah. Yo, you've literally always been a gamer. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess you could say that was my very first uh computer game <laughs> that I never completed. <laughs> that book, how many pages is this? 155 pages. Well, back then it was just a little pamphlet about oh uh, five inches by three inches. By about the size of a postcard. Twenty one twenty one pages long. Uh, that, oh, that, that was, was, it. was it blue? Is it this? Yeah. That's it. Only it was white, it wasn't blue. I think that's a classified version there. And how was the how were those mailed? So, like they would be mailed when you would land at a no, port, we, or we would uh, we would actually play the game out at sea. We would plot our moves and then put them in an envelope, seal the envelope, address the envelope, and then drop it in the ship's mailbox. And when we had a uh, a mail drop at sea, they, it would go off, and then uh, we would probably get an answer back with um, the results of our moves uh, the next port visit we got or when we got back to home port so what was the what was the game like what, what did you have to do i know it's strategy you had ships but that's still pretty vague i'm trying to get an image in my head of uh, of the gameplay but it's hard to yeah we had these little cardboard squares with planes submarines ships support ships um all kinds of stuff and then we would plot our moves and we would put the our pieces where they're supposed to finish and then we would write down where those pieces would be mm. so when we when we had to break pull up the map we would know where to when we put the map back down where these pieces would be and when we got the answer we would be able to move our pieces accordingly or 
if anything was destroyed, well, we can pull it off the map. Have you ever tried to play a, a naval game? Like uh, like nowadays, I mean, like the newer games, like World of World of Warship or War Thunder, or games like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. I play World of Warships a lot. World of Warships, World of Tanks. I've actually got a clip on TikTok from World of Warships that uh, I said something that was so funny that I thought Rogue was going to pass out because <laughs> he was laughing so hard. <laughs> So what platform do you do do you do best on? I had one video. I have one video that's got 2.1 million views on it on TikTok. Oh wow. <laughs> Which one and is that? that? That actually I think that hit 500 500,000 views. The the very first one was um when I met uh, Tyler one on the plane going to um, TwitchCon 17. That went viral overnight. And then when Father Coffee put the Battlefield 4 clip in there, that just went crazy. I mean, it, it, it blew Tyler 1's clip away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch streamers nowadays or not? Still not? Oh, Oh yeah, I, I watch. Um, Who's your favorite one? Um, I would have to be biased and say my daughter. Oh, she streams. Oh yeah, she streams. She has a computer exactly like this one here. Um, but uh, instead of GG laser etched, um, I had Zydex uh, laser etch a big dragon. She's. She mm. loves dragons. So. If we take unbiased opinions, oh, <laughs> not your daughter. <laughs> Who would it be? Um. Wow. Uh, I would have to say. All the streamers have a lot of uh, of pressure right now. I would have to say two off. Mitch two off. Yeah, two off. T W O O F F, two off. Well, you hear that two off? You're Gramps' favorite. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right, that's it for the Let's Chat segment. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for the What Happens Online. <laughs>